Worship His Holy Name. Welcome to Man of Faith Ministries. I'm Brian. We're up to chapter 16 of the book of Acts in our New Testament reading. Thanks for joining us today. Really, really happy that you could be here. I love you being able to listen to the Lord's Scripture with me as I as I read it. If you you like the Lord's Scripture, like these um, these chapters, please hit the like button, subscribe and share because we need the word of God to get out to everyone for a true revival because this world is going into darkness people. Okay, let's just get on with it. Chapter 16 of the book of Acts titled The Macedonian Vision. Paul came also to Derbe and to Lystra and a disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek and he was well spoken by the brethren who were in Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted this man to grow with him and he took him and circumcised him because of the Jews who were in those parts for all, they all knew that his father was a Greek. Now while they were passing through the cities, they were delivering the decrees which was de had been decided upon by the apostles and the elders who were in Jerusalem for them to, be ob to observe. So the churches were being strengthened in the faith and were increasing in number daily. They passed through Phrygian and Galatian region, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. And after they came to Mysia, they were trying to go into Bithynia, and the Spirit of Jesus did not permit them. And passing by Mysia, they came down to Troas. A vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man of Macedonia was standing and appealing to him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, immediately we sought to go to Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. So putting out to sea from Troas, we ran a straight course to Samothrace and on the day following to Neopolis and from there to Philippi, which is a leading city of the district of Macedonia, a Roman colony. And we were staying in this city for some days. And on the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate to the riverside where we were supposing that there would be a place of prayer. And we sat down and began speaking to the women who had assembled. Verse 14, first convert in Europe. A woman named Lydia from the city of Thyatira, a seller of purple fabrics, a worshipper of God was listening. And the Lord opened her heart to respond to the things spoken by Paul. And when she and her household had been baptized, she urged us saying, if you have judged to be me to be faithful to the Lord, come into my house and stay. And she prevailed upon us. It happened that as we were going to the place of prayer, a slave girl having a spirit of divination met with us, who was bringing her masters much profit by fortune telling. Following after Paul and us, she kept crying out saying, these men are bond servants of the most high God who are proclaiming to you the way of salvation. She continued doing this for many days. But Paul was greatly annoyed and turned and said to the spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And it came out at that very moment. But when her masters saw that their hope of profit was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace before the authorities. And when they had brought them to the chief magistrate, they said, these men are throwing our city into confusion being Jews and are proclaiming customs which is not lawful for us to accept or to observe being Romans. Verse 22, Paul and Silas imprisoned. The crowd rose up together against them and the chief magistrate tore their robes off them and proceeded to order them to be beaten with rods. When they had struck them with many blows, they threw them into prison, commanding the jailer to guard them securely. And he, having received such a command, threw them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. But about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns of praise to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. And suddenly there came a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison house were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were unfastened. When the jailer awoke and saw the prison doors opened, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, supposing that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul cried out with a loud voice, saying, 
do not harm yourself for we are all here. And he called for lights and rushed in and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. And after he brought them out, he said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? Verse 31, the jailer converted. They said, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. And they spoke the word of the Lord to him together with all who were in his house. And he took them that very hour of the night and washed their wounds. And immediately he was baptized, he and all of his household. And he brought them into his house and set food before them and rejoiced greatly, having believed in God with his whole household. Now when day came, the chief magistrate sent their policemen saying, Release those men. And the jailer reported these words to Paul saying, the chief magistrates have sent to release you. Therefore come out now and go in peace. But Paul said to them, they have beaten us in public without trial, men who are Romans and have thrown us into prison. And now they are sending us away secretly. No, indeed, but let them come themselves and bring us out. The policemen reported these words to the chief magistrates. They were afraid when they heard that they were, were Romans and they came and appealed to them. And when they had brought them out, they kept begging them to leave the city. They went out of the prison and entered the house of Lydia. And when they saw the brethren, they encouraged them and departed. Great, that's the end of chapter 16. Next time we've got chapter 17, which is Paul at Thessalonica. Another fantastic chapter that one is. So thanks for joining me today. Please hope you can join me next time. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and um, share these, these podcasts, these videos, because that is how we get the word out to everyone in the world. Until next time, please stay safe, take care, and may God bless your day.